Good morning. We're wrapping our week up down here on the Moorhead City waterfront. We couldn't be more excited, Sharon. How are you this morning? I'm great, Kenny. What a beautiful day. It, the entire weekend's going to be beautiful. Well, let me tell you, you guys, the North Carolina Seafood Festival is um, the October 1st to the 3rd, and it starts Friday at noon. It does. And goes to 11 p.m. that night, Saturday from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Saturday night, and then Sunday from 11 p.m. to 5 p.m. Kenny, we are so excited. Bass Night Garner Real Estate is so excited about being a part of the North Carolina Seafood Festival and you being on the board of directors. Talk to us a little bit about what's going to be going on this, this weekend. It is going to be an incredible lineup for the weekend. Uh, Friday at noon, we kick off the festival. Vendors will be lining the streets. Main stage opens up at 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. with live music, free event. All the rides for the kids open up at 3 p.m. They go to 11 p.m. Armbands can be purchased online. $5 will go to a local school of your choice. Saturday, we kick off the festival Saturday morning at 8 a.m. with a road race. Yay. Um, vendors open up at 10. Um, cooking with the chef's tent opens up at 10. At the top of every hour share, and there's a new chef featuring a dish. It's a very interactive event. See, I'm excited about that, but that's about food. I love food. <laughs> it's going to be great. Um, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., the rides open up. And 12 p.m., main stage kicks off with live music. It's going to be a great event. And it doesn't stop there. It goes into Sunday at 10 a.m. We have the Blessing of the Fleet. Um, at 9 a.m. to 10, there's Yoga on the Sound. Wow. Vendors open at 11. It, it just... There's just so much for everybody. So much. So. And the kids can grab last minute rides the entire day on Sunday, starting at 10. I mean, Sharon, I'm just excited to be part of such a great event. The community needs it. The businesses need it. And we need it as, as individuals. I think it's going to be a, a, a fantastic weekend. It's been a while since we've had a really good seafood festival weekend. So the weather's supposed to be perfect. And um, so everybody come on out. And if you need transportation, Best yes. Night Garner is volunteering this year. Sharon, can you tell us a little bit about drop-off pickups and time? Yeah, well, our drop-off is at the port, so you can park there. Parking's free. Mm -hmm. And then you, we've got a trolley that will bring you to 3rd and 4th Street here in Moorhead City and drop you off. Um, masks are required. Yeah, they are very encouraged. Yep. Um, it is an open-air trolley. Um, there may be an enclosed trolley. We just ask that you follow CDC guidelines and, you, you know, you protect yourself and yep. others. And then the trolley runs from 10 a.m. Saturday morning to, I think, 11 p.m. that night. Mm -hmm. And then Sunday from 12 p.m. till 6 p.m. Yep. till 5 or 6 p.m. So and then that um, port will close at 6 p.m. So just make sure you time it to get in and get out. To get in, yeah. But we're very excited. Look for Sharon and I on the waterfront. Um, Friday through Sunday, and y'all have an amazing weekend. And speaking of weekend, yes, we are wrapping it up with real estate numbers. Okay, so this week we had 49 new listings. Last week we had 70. This week we had 56 close. Last week we had 54 to close. Um, this week we had 72 pending and 74 last week pending. So anyway, about the same. Another steady week. Steady week, and so... Anyway, you guys, please come out and support our local restaurants, vendors, and the North Carolina Seafood Festival. See you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.